Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name's Renee and this is New Angel Tarot. So for the first time I'm going to be reviewing this uh, new deck that I've just got and it's called Angel Tarot. Um, this is has this has been around a while, but um, I actually got tipped off by this deck um, by watching uh, Damien Eccles' YouTube channel, um, and I, I've seen the the box so many times, and I've never really sort of looked into it because I'm a bit of a traditionalist when it comes to the Rider Waite and um, working with you know traditional tarot decks. And this one, I'm so excited to unbox for you guys today because what it is is basically working with um, actual angels as part of the Shem operation. And if you haven't heard of what the Shem operation is, they call it that for short. Um, I'm going to read the back of the box for you to make it a bit easier. It says, go beyond the traditional angel tarot decks with this set of 72 angels of the Kabbalah in brackets or Shem Hamoresh, Hamoresh, Hamoresh cards. I can never say that word properly. But it says, since the beginning of time, we have been drawn to the magnificence and grandeur of angels. Now using original sigils, summoning seals and pentacles from ancient grimoires, the choirs of angelic hierarchy from the Kabbalah are shared with their divine names to invoke the true energies of these sacred majestic beings into your life. The Angel Tarot cleverly combines the major and minor cards of the tarot together with medieval angels of ceremonial magic. Move forward on the chariot with Angel Michael, summon the moon with Gabrielle, meet Elamai, the Queen of Wands, or seek the Hierophant in Angel Hazel. So as you can see here as well, the artwork for the cards themselves are really, really cool. I, you know, artwork for me is kind of a a deal breaker. Um, I won't work with a deck if I don't like the artwork um, or if it's a bit sort of naff. But so far this looks amazing and you know I have been talking about angel magic or ceremonial magic in the last couple of videos but it's something that I've been doing in the background quietly and it is a very sort of soul journey. It's a very um, you know solitary path if you like. Um, but I have been working with um, a couple of the 72 angels that are mentioned here. So I will open the box now anyway and get on with the show and show you guys what's inside. Now I've already kind of pre prepared this plastic because every time I try and take plastic off a box, it takes me a few goes. So I, I sort of pre-ripped it. So here's the box. Da -da -da. So excited. Let's open this up. And we have a decent book in here. It's like an A5 book. Okay, this is really nice quality. Oh, wow. And on the inside, it's um, dark pages. So we've got the dark pages here, and then the intro pages are kind of different artworks on the inside, summoning and releasing angelic spirits, the grand pentacle of Solomon. Um, so look, this is a deck um, if you are wanting to work with angels and wanting to work um, with tools around ceremonial magic, basically. Um, there's, a, uh, there's a description here. Angels are the messengers of divine light who descend from the heavens to minister to mortals. They have diverse powers and roles and some are given specific tasks. They are capable of performing great miracles and unleashing tremendous destruction. Matthew 28. And they've also got like biblical references in here as well of all the different powers and um, the hierarchy of angels. So we're talking about, well, angels are the lowest rank. Okay, because angels are the last here. Angels are kind of like, and if I can quote Damien Eccles, the litter of the universe. It's kind of almost like the fragments, the energy, because angels are essentially like energy. Um, but they, they, it works on different realms. Okay, so we start from the center and then we work our way out. But then within the different realms, which is what they're talking about here in terms of the hierarchy, there are, um, you know, 72 streams of power that make up the... Um, hem 
the sham operation because I could never pronounce that last name. But essentially, this is a really intense book. Um, it's going to take me a while to actually go through every single card in depth, which I'm not going to do in this presentation, but um, I'm really excited to read this because it's pretty much everything what I've always done. And now I've got a beautiful deck of cards, which I've just taken out here. It had a ribbon on it um, to work with. And so these are the angel cards. They've got the gold gilding on the side. Um, pretty good size, perfect size. Let's take off the ribbon. So the backing here, we've got the seal of Solomon on the back. So Jewish mysticism. And if we turn the cards over here, we've got the first card here. We've got the chariot, Michael. Perseverance, success, conflict in overcoming diversity. Who is like God, the chariot? The wheel of fortune is Raphael. Healing heals all disorders, protects travelers and medical workers. Gabrielle is the moon. Divine revelation rules messages and power. And right on the bottom as well, you can see the actual sigils. And if you're interested in doing this kind of angel work, there is a book or a website uh, called The Gallery of Magic. Okay, um, magic with a K, M-A-G-I-C-K. And the reason why it's spelt with a K, I guess it's to align itself to the K within Kabbalah, but also differentiate the magic as opposed to pulling a rabbit out of a hat and working with ceremonial magic. It's just to delineate the two spellings. Haniel, the lovers, this is the joy of God. These are really beautiful. Um, as I said, the artwork is gorgeous. The quality of the card is really beautiful as well. And the gilding is just makes it really special. You know, these are gorgeous. And I probably won't be using these for anything but my own personal use because I've been waiting for these for so long. And I finally got them. So Haniel is the lovers. Samael is the devil. Uriel is the tower. Which is quite interesting because Uriel is um, the earth angel. It's the angel that represents earth as opposed to Mars. But it says here the fire of God and represents the tower, which is quite interesting. So I have to sort of check that out. The exalting God, Vehuya, Vehuya, which is uh, the fool. Um, two of wands, Jeliel. Three of wands, Sitael. Um... And then we go through yeah, the Knight of Pentacles, the Five of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles, the Hierophant, Haziel. So these are not packed in any order, I don't think. 12, 13, 14. Oh, no, they are. Nine of Swords, Eight of Swords. Um, but, yeah, I'm not going to take you through every single one because there's just too many and this video will be crazy long. Um, let me just see if there's anything interesting in here that's jumping out. Um, in terms of the size, it's a, for example, these are my low Scarabio cards. No, they're not the same size as that. These are the old... Bingo. Here we go. This is my old Rider weight deck. I've had this deck for about 20 years, 15, 20 years maybe. Um, and these are the exact same size. So in terms of the sizing of the card, they're a classic tarot size. Okay, identical. This, however, is like a, a glossy card and this is a matte Okay, there's no gloss on these cards. These are a matte card with, and that's not gold either. That's like a four color process. So it's not um, gilded. The only shine that you're going to get is uh, on the edging, on the gilding. But yeah, so they're the same size as these, which are the professional Rider weight published by US Games. Um, I don't think these are published by US Games. These are published by Rockpool. Okay, different company. 
um, but essentially the same die cut, which is the shape of the card. Um, let's see what else we've got in here. If there's anything, because there's quite a few. It's going to take me ages to go through all these. But yeah, I'm excited to use them. Um, I'm going to see how they resonate when I actually do a reading with them and perhaps refer to the book to see if they've got, you know, a suggested suggested spreads um, and whether or not you can use. Huh? And the last card here is death. God, the end of the universe, number 72. Endings and rebirth, influences of health and longe longevity. Mumia or Mumia, okay, is the last card. Um, which is quite interesting because the last card here is 71, 10 of cups. It's almost like the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow and then you get the death card. So I'm sure that there's method in the madness here. Um, but I've just obviously got to work my way through the book and see how that works um just quickly if we go into the book let's have a quick look introduction hierarchy of angels conjuration of the angelic spirits the grand pentacle of solomon summoning and releasing angels angelic spirits using the angel invoking tarot meanings who is like god metatron gabriel haniel samuel uriel um well they're all listed here okay so it's pretty extensive all 72 um and lo the angel of the lord came upon them and the glory of the lord shine around them and they were afraid and the angel said to them fear not behold i bring you good tidings of great joy which shall be to all people so it's got the key of solomon there but it also has a phrase or a, a passage from luke 2 um, and the other thing as well, according to the secret doctrine of Cornelius Agrippa, every mortal born on the earth has three guardian angels. Agrippa's occult philosophy is rooted in the sacred Kabbalah, or the secret tradition of Israel, which postulates that the powers of the 72 angels from the, hem, from the Shem Hamaphoresh are distributed throughout the times, days and seasons. It is from this source that we obtain knowledge of their names, attributes, and mysteries. Your first angelic guide is of divine rank and order. It is commissioned by the command of God, and the charge of the soul is given to this angel at the time of the soul's creation. This angel is the reactor and governor of life, imparting divine light and helping uplift the soul towards a higher spiritual existence. The first angel operates within the confines of the 24 hours of the day. Your second angelic guide emanates from the astrological world, from the power of the stars. It will lead mortals along the path of virtue and its influence on its qualities of the mortal order and the things that pass into expression in speech. The second angel operates within specific days of the months of the year. And your third angelic guide emanates from the physical world it governs this physical aspect of a mortal's existence on earth uh, and influences health motions and actions the third angel operates in successive periods of days throughout the year it should be understood that people who are born between the days 14th of march to 20th of march or the 29th of february during a leap year will have three angels belonging to their birth hour as guardians of the three parts of their personality. These names must not be thought of in a limited or personal sense. It so happens that the angelical offices are interchangeable. An angel who governs the physical part of one particular child may also be a leader into the light of the soul belonging to another, while also presi presiding over the moral qualities of dispositions of a third. It is written in the book of Hebrews, all angels are ministering spirits sent to serve those who inherit salvation. And in the book of Luke, he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. So there you go. There's the introduction to the book. And I'm going to sit on the couch and go through this with a cup of tea and some biscuits. 
<laughs> like I always do with my new little packages. Um, and I cannot wait to get started using these. Um, talking about the six archangels. And then the 72 angels. Yeah, so the six archangels, they're kind of like the mega angels. And then the 72 angels that go underneath that um, sort of take orders, essentially. So if you think of the six major archangels, they're kind of like the directors. They're like the queen bees. And then the 72 angels underneath that, they, they send out and carry out um, all the tasks. And each angel has a different um, power or a different um, skill set. For example... Um, number 50, Daniel. Those born under Daniel will be industrious and active in business. They will love literature and will distinguish themselves with eloquence. Daniel provides consultation, helps uh, obtain God's mercy and rules over justice, counsels, attorneys and magistrates. Soul guardian for those born 4.20 p.m. to 4.40. Moral guardian for those born on the 8th of May, 19th of July, 29th of September, da 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 and physical guardian for those born from 20, 20th to the 24th of November. Oh, okay. So these go in order of the month. Okay. So physical month is sitting on the bottom. So I'm assuming the first angel here is going to be starting at the beginning of the year. Uh, oh, these are the... There we go. Sorry. 72 angels. Where's the first one? Viuya, physical guardian angel born from the 20th to the 24th of March. And then we go through physical guardian for those born on the 25th to the 29th of March and so on and so forth. Anyway, it's a new system. It's something that I haven't worked with before, but I am going to look through it and figure it out. Um... Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. If you, again, are interested in working with angels and the 72 or the Shem operation, um, check these cards out. And also, if you are interested in looking at um, invoking angel energy, um, you can look at galleryofmagic.com. I'll leave the links in the description below. And there's also a cool book that... Um, well, most of the books are written by Damon Brand, but there's a few different authors on the Gallery of Magic website. But you can also um, just check out all those different books. I mean, some of them are manifesting, you know, literally money, um, anything you want in the material world. But then there's also some ceremonial stuff that you can do, which does in require you to, you know, not know Hebrew, but, you know, say Hebrew words as part of um, your invocation work. So if you are using, um, you know, ceremony to as part of your daily life or the lesser banishing ritual or the um, lesser invoking ritual, you can, um, you'll know what I'm talking about. So guys, there's the box. There's the book. Um, I hope you enjoyed my review. And if you like my video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. And I will see you next time. Have a great week. And um, yeah, if... Um, anything comes of these I will give you guys an update and if you've used these before as well leave me a comment below and let me know what you think have a great weekend I'll see you later